Well, Judge Lloyd, we know you've got one right here today. There is one entry in our Junior Best 3 class. And congratulations to Emily Good of Liberty, Kentucky. She wins our Junior Best 3. Judge Lloyd, your thoughts on our group here in our Junior Best 3 class. I don't have them, or now I do. Just one group for the junior best three. Uh, is this our last class? Oh, okay. Uh, just one group for junior best three, but really nice group. Uh, uh, heifer, the heifers with really nice set of feet and legs and lots of length of frame. Congratulations. And now for our last class in our Mideast Fall Red and White Show, we have our Produce of Dam. At this time, our final class of the day, our Mideast Fall Red and White Show, is our Produce of Dam. Our winning group here is also from Emily Good of Liberty, Kentucky. Congratulations. Judge, your thoughts on our Produce of Dam. Again, uh, as we wrap up here, just want to thank everyone involved in putting these things together. Uh, I'm a big part of New York Colstein. I know it takes a lot, of, a lot of work for everyone, whether it's announcers or sponsorship or your pitcher takers, your shavings. Um, great. It was a I hope I get to come back, but uh, the group that won the class and finished the show, well deserving of a, of winning the produce of dam. A cow I had down in the class moved her up. A cow that's got a lot of balance and, and width to her frame, and she tr transmitted that into the heifer. Congratulations. That brings our 2023 Mideast Fall Red and White Show to a conclusion. Thank you to Judge Jason Lloyd. He placed 136 head today finished right on time to start our Guernsey show.
This time, as our show gets underway, our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show, certainly an appropriate time to introduce our judge, Tammy Bailey. <laughs> Tammy hails from Arlington, Wisconsin, and owns Volgren Boarding. She specializes in caring for show heifers of all breeds and preparing groups for sales. Along with the boarding business, she is part of the day-to-day -day operations of Volgren Swiss, her family's dairy farm. Over the years, Volgren has earned numerous All-American and awards and nomination accolades for their homebred animals as well as their boarding clients. Names such as Shenanigans, Woodsy, Ping, Winks, and Wicked have been leading ladies for the farm. Tammy has enjoyed judging many county, state, and regional shows in more than 10 states. Most recently, the Northeast Spring Show, Brown Swiss and Milking Shorthorn Shows, Indiana State Junior Holstein Show, and National Cattle Congress. If she's not judging, she's probably exhibiting at a show or helping her longtime friend and partner, Alan Paulson, a.k.a. Spud, truck into one of those shows. You can find their string at state and national shows in five breeds. Tammy and Spud have a son, Dakota, age nine, and he is already following the passion of wanting to be involved with the cattle and trucking, and this year exhibited his own junior-owned brown Swiss. Tammy is very excited and honored to be selected by her peers, mentors, and friends to have this judging bucket list opportunity. Welcome to Tammy Vagley from Arlington, Wisconsin. Over in our Guernsey ring, our judge today is Alan Spud Paulson, who comes in from Rockford, Illinois, where he bases his cattle hauling business, hauling livestock and feeding cattle from coast to coast year round for the past 20 years. Over the years, he has judged numerous county fairs, state shows, and 12 state fairs. He was the associate Brown Swiss judge at Eastern National Show, lead judge at World Dairy Expo for Milking Shorthorns in 2015, and the judge for the International Ayrshire Show at World Air Expo in 2017. He judged the Open Holstein, Con the Open Holstein Show and the Red and White Show in, 19 in 2018 at the North American in Louisville. Alan has two boys, Sutton and Dakota, that share his passion of showing, fitting, and hauling cattle. Welcome to our judge, Alan Spud Paulson, for our National Guernsey Show.
Tension Brown Swiss breeders, our spring heifer calf is making its final lineup. We need your winter calves at ringside. They're about to enter the ring. Brown Swiss exhibitors, your winter calves are going into the ring. Guernsey breeders, our judge is working through his spring calf class. Please have your winter calves at ringside. Guernsey breeders, we need your winter calves in the makeup ring. At this time in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show ring, Judge Vagley has completed her placing in our spring heifer calf class. Placing second in the class is entry number 19, North Kill Creek Grand Slam, exhibited by Hannah Balthaser of Ephrata, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry number 22, Brown Velvet Peaball, Vermont, exhibited by Elena, Ava, and Audrey Lammers of Marysville, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Vagley, your thoughts on our spring calf class? Good evening, everybody, and thank you for this opportunity. Uh, if this is any evidence of what we're going to have for the rest of the evening and tomorrow night into the cow classes, this is going to be a lot of fun. What an awesome group of heifers to start out this Brown show here to this evening. And with that being said, this top pair of heifers really sorted themselves to the top of the class for me. This first place heifer, she is the complete balance of strength, style, and walks out on a great set of feet and legs, my kind of heifer. She's just more extension uphill run to that front end. She has more length all the way from her head, to, from the tip of her nose to the tip of her tail and just has a bit more spring right through that forerib than this beautiful, beautiful dairy heifer here in second. When this heifer in second comes at you, she's just got all that style, all that cleanliness uh, right through her head and neck, and she uses that extension of her head and neck to go over this April calf coming out in third. In addition, I do prefer she has more width between those pins than our calf in third. Third over fourth, she just does it on a lot of ring presence, hardness across that top line, uh, and correctness right out how she handles her rear legs when you view her from behind. I just prefer how she tracks much straighter on those rear legs than our big heifer here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, she uses that daringness all the way throughout. She's a bit more open in her forerib, a bit deeper in that flank today than this heifer coming out in fifth. Fifth over six uses that advantage of just being a bit stretchier right through that front end, longer in her head and neck, cleaner up through that throat, and just has more length from end to end over the another well-balanced uh, heifer coming out here next. Congratulations. There were 19 
spring heifer calves exhibited in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show. Our winning entry was number 22, Brown Velvet Peaball Vermont, exhibited by Elena, Ava, and Audrey Lammers of Marysville, Ohio. Second in the class is entry number 19, North Kill Creek Grand Slam, exhibited by Hannah Balthaser of Ephrata, Pennsylvania. Third in the class is entry number 13, Buckmeadow FCW Ivy, exhibited by Colton Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Fourth in the class is entry number 25, Echo Hill F Timeout Honey, exhibited by Fairdale Farm of Worthville, Kentucky. Fifth in the class was entry 16, R5 Rampage Jingle, exhibited by Tatum and Gunnar Copeland of Collinsville, Oklahoma. Sixth in the class is entry number 11, exhibited by Myline Drake Wonton, exhibited by Amy Hughes of Durand, Illinois. Seventh in the class is entry number nine, Harvest Breeze Ells Windstorm, exhibited by Ellie Albert of Vandalia, Illinois. Eighth in the class was entry number three, Rough Road Binium Gem Gemma, exhibited by Jeremy and Kelsey Kinslow of Smith Grove, Kentucky. Ninth was entry 21, Corlin Rampage Santeria, exhibited by Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. And 10th in the class was entry number 24, Top Acres DD Whisper, exhibited by Alan and Thomas McCauley of Lowell, Michigan. Now in the ring, in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show is our winter calf class. That was really nice. I think they were one and two in the junior show, actually. Were they? Just that way, I think. This time, now that our shows are underway, we'd certainly like to thank those people that help organize the shows and keep them running. Starting with the top of the heap, our Dairy Show Superintendent, Dan Grigson, our Dairy Show Assistant, Superintendent, Roger Sparrow, our Milk Testing Coordinator, Linda McClanahan, and Assistant Testing Coordinator, Chris Schock. They oversee everything and do a fabulous job answering questions, and you can always find out the answers from those people. Specifically with our Brown Swiss Show, today our clerk is Mike Phillips. Our premier clerk is Eunice Schlappi. Our In the makeup ring is Tyler London and Lily Wood. In the ring, helping the judge get those cattle where they need to go is Chris Kaufman and John Chisholm. And helping with the ribbons and handing out awards is Eunice Schlappi. So can thank you to those volunteers. We also have from the Brown Swiss Association, our Illinois Swiss, we have Robin Smithling, our show and classification coordinator. And we have our Illinois Swiss Miss, Emma Carlisle, helping to hand out awards today. So a big thank you to all of those people helping with the Brown Swiss Show. Our Guernsey crew consists of our clerk, Abby Pardue, our premier clerk, Brenda Strange. In the makeup ring is Jason Watcher. Helping in the ring is David Adams. And helping with our ribbons and keeping things organized with our awards is Stuart Gritton. We're lucky to have some National Guernsey royalty with us here today, helping with our ribbons and awards. Mary Beth Collette, our National Guernsey Queen from Chucky, Tennessee. She's the sixth generation to live and work on Sideline Farms, which was established in 1858. Mary Beth attends Water State Uni Community College and will graduate in December with Associate in Agriculture. She plans to attend Virginia Tech and complete her bachelor degree in Ag Communications. Mary Beth and her sister Callie own 27 registered Guernseys and Jerseys. She is certainly serving as Vice President of East, Ten of F F East Tennessee FFA. So thank you to Mary Beth Collette for being here to help. Also here is Elizabeth Nichols. She's our 2023 National Guernsey Princess from Churubusco, New York. She's a senior at the State University of New York at Canton, majoring in veterinary science technology. She grew up as the fifth generation on our grandparents' Holstein farm and leased her first Guernsey calf through 4-H 
and now owns and maintains her small herd of Guernseys and Holsteins. So thank you to Elizabeth. She's also helping with our awards here today. This time over in our National Guernsey Show, our Judge Paulson has completed his placing in our Spring Heifer Calf class. Second in the class is entry number 19, Golden Pines J.D. Butterfinger, is exhibited by Melissa Hogg. And winning the class is her full sister, entry number 11, Golden Pines J.D. Butterfly, also exhibited by Melissa Hogg of Dane, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Paulson, your thoughts on our class? Well, what an amazing group of calves all the way down. But I tell you what, there's two or three of them here to come towards the top here, and this calf here towards the top, George and I were like, come to back to the center of the ring like pretty easy. This is our winner in the class today. She's so balanced and pretty pretty across the head and neck, especially the way she out leads out on a beautiful, probably the best set of feet and legs in the class. I just prefer that balance and just, uh, just a little nicer up at that front end gets her over to calf here in second. Second over third, uh, I really like this third half place heifer here. I love that Springer rib. Today she's just not showing it on her halter, but I tell you what, uh, the second calf here, I just prefer she's just a little more balanced today, just, uh, just a little more uh, proportional to have her here in third. Just a little too much fill maybe today uh, to get her up any higher today. Third over fourth. That spring in depth, open us the rib, trailing just a little nicer for me, gets her over to half a year and fourth. Fourth over fifth, kind of a close placing here today, just a little straighter across the, uh, the top for me today, walks out on a nice set of feet, legs, gets her over to half a year and fifth. Fifth over sixth, kind of a closer placing, I love this April half a year and sixth, just not the big, uh, strong, powerful half a year and fifth is. Congratulations. International Guernsey Show, there were 19 spring calves exhibited. Our winner was entry 11, Golden Pines J.D. Butterfly, exhibited by Melissa Hogg of Dane, Wisconsin. Second in the class was entry number 19, Golden Pines J.D. Butterfingers, also exhibited by Melissa Hogg of Dane, Wisconsin. Third in the class was entry number 12, Golden Pines J.D. Butterbraid, exhibited by Suzanne Benoit of Stitzer, Wisconsin. Placing fourth in the class is entry number seven, acclaimed J.D. Janice, exhibited by Darlene Moser of Pleasant Lake, Indiana. Fifth in the class was entry number 22, Walnut Ridge Doc Darla, exhibited by Caitlin Moser of Thurmont, Maryland. Placing sixth was entry number two, Cooley Crest Landon Luna, exhibited by Macy McLean of Salem, Ohio. Seventh in the class was entry number 20, Mar Ral OHGR Millie's Mickey, exhibited by Levi and Carly Plocker of Salem, Ohio. Eighth in the class was entry number 24, Dalton Farms Best Man Alani, exhibited by Leah Jenkins of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Ninth was entry number 10, Rocky Hill Latimer Heartland, exhibited by Holly McCarty of Hughesville, Pennsylvania. 
And placing 10th was entry number 15, T Chup's DJ Uptown Girl, exhibited by Tyler Chup of Enola, Oklahoma. Now in the ring in our National Guernsey show is our Winter Heifer Calf class.
We were just visiting about something up here at the announcer stand. We do want to remind everyone that it is daylight savings goes into effect this evening. You'll all gain an hour of sleep or have an hour out socializing, an hour more to socialize. So let's please remember that our start time tomorrow is 7.30. I believe. Seven thirty for our Jersey show. So I guess if you don't set your clock back, you'll be here on plenty of time at six thirty. We just wanted to remind everyone that tonight daylight savings does go into effect. At this time, in the Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show, Judge Vagley has completed her placing in our Winter Heifer Calf class. Placing second in the class is entry number 128, Perry Brook Elysium Lizzo, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. And winning the class is entry number 47, Brothers Three Dix Wiley, exhibited by Andrea Haynes of Taneytown, Maryland. Congratulations. Judge Vagley, your reasons on our Winter Calf class. Well, another exceptional class of heifers all the way down the line here, and congratulations to all the breeders and owners of these animals. But this pair of heifers that start the class uh, kind of came to me to the top as they came in the ring. But this first place heifer for me is just more ring ready today. She's just a bit cleaner all the way through, a bit sharper at the shoulder, a bit more cleaner right over that rib structure than our heifer in second. I will grant our heifer in second is a tick longer from the end to end, but just gives up a little bit of that sharpness right in through the midsection to get into that first hole today. Second over third, she uses her advantage on frame. She's just mo so much more upstanding through that front end and a longer heifer from end to end, taking nothing away from this beautiful stylish heifer in third. Third over fourth has the advantage today on how she walks on her feet and legs today. She just tracks straighter on those front feet, more comfortable on her rear feet when especially get behind than this beautiful dairy heifer here in fourth. Fourth over fifth uses the advantage of just being harder right across that midsection, especially through the loin, and just neater from hooks to pins than another balanced heifer in fifth. Fifth and sixth, the close placing. Again, heifers, I'd like to see it just a little harder right through that loin, but she uses the advantage of being just a bit wider through those pins than another well-balanced heifer coming out in sixth. Congratulations.
you want to mark down some placings from our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show, there were 23 winter calves exhibited. Our class winner was entry 47, Brothers 3 Dick Swiley, exhibited by Andrea Haynes of Teeny Town, Maryland. Second in the class was entry number 128, Perry Brook Elysium Lisso, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. Placing third in the class is entry number 31, North Kill Creek Gitter Dunn, exhibited by Hannah Balthaser, Vifrata, Pennsylvania. Fourth in the class was entry number 44, Blessing Garborough F. Paulette, exhibited by Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers, Wawaka, Indiana. Fifth was entry number 37, Top View Glenwood Apple Pie, exhibited by Top View Farms of Wapakoneta, Ohio. Sixth in the class was entry number 158, Doc Heyman Famous Winona, exhibited by Alexis Sherry of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Seventh was entry number 48, KADR Fritz Clarabelle, exhibited by Cassidy Ashland Delaney and Riley Oliger of Hagerstown, Indiana. Eighth in the class is entry number 32, Blessing Garbro F. Gina, exhibited by Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers, Clayton, Indiana. Ninth in the class was entry number 33, Blessing Garbro Famous Flam, exhibited by Blessing Farms and Garrison Brothers. And placing 10th was entry number 40, Edgeview D. Darlene, exhibited by Cripple Creek Farm of Dodgeville, New York. Over in our National Guernsey show ring, our judge has completed his placings in our Winter Heifer Calf class. Placing second in the class is entry number 35, Warwick Manor Indigo Chimmy, exhibited by Carly Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry number 40, LRF J.D. Taylor, exhibited by Garrett Lambert of Norge Rock, Maine. Congratulations. Judge Paulson, your thoughts on our Winter Calf class. Well, ladies and gentlemen, turn your heads to the Guernsey ring because we found one beautiful heifer out here in the ring today. Heifers like this make my job easy, and especially when George and I come back to stand the ring and I said, which one should win? He says, well, that one in the corner. This heifer just spells it all for us. She's just a little longer, a little nicer, neater through that tail head. And when she gets out walking, her ring presence just is a, kind of a knockout, easy winner for me today. Second over third, little closer placing for me today. The young lady in third, I apologize for her for not missing her in line, but when she gets in line, uh, she just, uh, the third heifer, just not quite uh, the length of body that I prefer on this heifer here in second. And that for them reasons, just being a little longer body gets her over the heifer here in third. Third over fourth for me, just a little nicer in that foot angle, just a little steeper. The heifer here in fourth here, we really love that style and balance about her. But when you get analyzing her feet, she's just a little too flat-footed for me to get her up higher today. F uh, fourth over fifth, just that style, just to show me just a little more sp de spring and depth of rib gets her over that long, stretchy heifer here coming out here in fifth. A little closer here, fifth over sixth, I just prefer that long stretchiness. Just, just a little nicer, neater through the crops gets her over the heifer coming up behind her. Congratulations. There were 20 winter calves exhibited at our National Guernsey Show here this evening. Our winning entry was number 60, excuse me, number 40. LRF J.D. Taylor, exhibited by Garrett Lambert of Norwich Walk, Maine. Second in the class is entry number 35, Warwick Manor Indigo Chimmy, exhibited by Carly Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. 
Third in the class is entry number 42, Valley Gem AP Might Get Lucky, exhibited by Valley Gem Farm of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Fourth in the class was entry 37, CBVG Jack Don't Forget Me, exhibited by Haley Bukema of New Richmond, Wisconsin. Fifth in the class was entry 33, Style Crest Colonel Select, exhibited by Kevin Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Sixth was entry 31, Rocky Hill Java Ho Ho Ho, exhibited by Holly McCarty of Hughesville, Pennsylvania. Seventh was entry 26, M.M. Copper Lace, exhibited by Matthew Mannery of Milan, Indiana. Eighth in the class was entry number 28, Colette's Rum Betsy, exhibited by Callie and Mary Beth Colette of Chucky, Tennessee. Ninth was entry number 30, Red Rage Axel Brinkley, exhibited by Kathy Littlefield of Lowville, New York. And tenth in the class was entry number 36, John Ann Prada Ziggy, exhibited by Kyle Bonavita of Mishapin, Pennsylvania. Now in the ring in our Guernsey show is our fall heifer calf class.
while we've got a minute here, while our judges are assessing their fall heifer calf classes, we once again would like to give a little shout out about our Supreme Champion program set for Monday afternoon. The Nile is proud to offer additional prize money to our open shows. On Monday, we will hold our Open Dairy Supreme Champion Show. The exhibitors who had winning breed junior champions will compete for a $500 cash award and banner, plus the honor of having the Supreme Champion Heifer. In addition, a reserve Supreme Champion Heifer will be picked and awarded $250. Exhibitors who had the winning breed grand champions will compete for a $2,000 cash award and banner, plus a recognition of having Supreme Champion Cow of the Open Dairy Show. A reserve Supreme Champion Cow will be selected and awarded $500. It is a pleasure for the Nile to provide this special opportunity to recognize the outstanding dairy cattle and exhibitors that are here. We hope you will all plan to be here in Freedom Hall on Monday for the Open Supreme Show. It will be held approximately 30 minutes after the conclusion of the Monday shows.
in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Ring. Judge Figley has completed her placing in our Fall Heifer Calf class. Placing second in the class is entry number 75, Top Acres FM Weiser, exhibited by Colton Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Congratulations. And winning the class is entry number 65, Blessing Doughboy Chrissy, exhibited by Blessing Farms of Oaka, Indiana. Congratulations. Judge Vigley, your thoughts on our class? Thank you, Kathleen. It's hard to get used to hearing that, but I do appreciate it. And again, another beautiful class of heifers all the way down. Uh, but this heifer that leads out the class when she walked in, she's got such beautiful ring presence. She's clean, dairy, and stylish from tip to tail. I love her high chine. She's sharper at the point of withers. She's just cleaner over those hooks and pins and just a bit silkier in her thigh than another beautiful calf coming out in second. Second over third has the advantage today, just a bit more spring to that fore and rear rib than our heifer here in third. And she's just a little bit more upstanding through that front end over another balanced heifer coming out in third. Third over fourth has the advantage today from hips back. I just prefer where her thurls are placed more squarely beneath her. And when she's out on the move, I just prefer the flex to the hock and how she handles those rear legs today. Taking nothing away from another dairy, open rib stylish individual. And she uses that openness drop to her fore and rear rib to go over our heifer here in fifth. Fifth over six is a closer placing for me. I move this fifth place heifer up because I appreciated her more in line when you get right up on her. She's wider across that chest floor. She's more upstanding through that front end and just a bit wider in those pins than another ultra thin heighted silky heifer coming out here in sixth. Congratulations. There were 15 fall calves in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show. Our winning entry was number 65, Blessing Doughboy Chrissy, exhibited by Blessing Farms of Awaka, Indiana. Second in the class was entry number 75, Talk Acres FM Weiser, exhibited by Colt and Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Third in the class was entry number 74, Brown Velvet Powerball Sutton, exhibited by Elena, Ava, and Audrey Lammers of Marysville, Ohio. Fourth in the class was entry number 67, Blessing Garbro. Garbo F. Whitney, exhibited by Caitlin Taylor of Allenwood, Pennsylvania. Fifth in the class was entry 72, LIF Mary Grace Secret Weapon, exhibited by Jacob and Joseph Johns of Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Sixth in the class is entry number 71, Encore Jen Carter Primrose, exhibited by TJ and Jasmine Wingert of Pearl City, Illinois. Seventh in the class was entry 66, Blessing Foremost Grace, exhibited by Carter Settles of Clayton, Indiana. Placing eighth in the class was entry 63, Jenlar Rasta Wow, exhibited by Jesse Muse of Etol, Kentucky. Ninth in the class was entry 60, Edgeview F. Tactful, exhibited by L-E-A-R-E-R -E -R and L. Kuhn of Red Hook, New York. And placing 10th in the class is entry number 58, La Foster Seaman Dawn, exhibited by Olivia Foster of Cleveland, North Carolina. Now entering the ring in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show is our summer yearling class.
Attention Brown Swiss exhibitors. Our summer yearling class is a little smaller than we've had. We need your spring yearlings at the makeup ring. Brown Swiss exhibitors, please get your spring yearlings to the makeup ring immediately. If you turn your attention to the National Guernsey Show Ring, Judge Paulson has completed his placing in our Fall Al Heifer Calf class. Placing second in the class is entry number 63, Cape May Drone Unstoppable, exhibited by Savannah Thomas of West Liberty, Ohio. And winning the class is entry number 61, Prairie Moon Java Lavender, exhibited by Garrett Lambert and Mark, Matt Hartle of Norwich Walk, Maine. Congratulations. Well, Judge ladies and Paulson, gentlemen, what a nice group of heifers all the way down here. The heifer that starts the class today, just for me, quite handily, just a little nicer, neater, especially up to that front, front end, especially through their crops, just for me, just blending a little nicer through that front end. Gets you over the big, strong, powerful heifer here in second. Heifer in second, you like that spring and, and depth of rib, but just for me, just not the style, the little crisper dairy or like the heifer here in first. Second over third, a little closer racing today, but I like that strength and power, just showing me just a little more spring to their rib. Depth of four and rear rib gets her over the real dairy heifer here in third. Third over fourth, a little closer placing for me today. Just a prefer that she just tracks out a little straighter for me. Just a little nicer, neater through the crops. Gets her over the heifer here, uh, coming out here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just a little more spring a half, spring a rib. Just a little more heifer throughout. Gets her over the heifer here, coming out here in fifth. On down the line, a uh, really nice group of heifers all the way down. There were 16 fall calves exhibited here this evening in our National Guernsey Show. Our class winner was entry 61, Prairie Moon, Java Lavender, exhibited by Garrett Lambert and Matt Hartle of Norwich Walk, Maine. Second in the class is entry number 63, Cape May Drone Unstoppable, exhibited by Savannah Thomas of West Liberty, Ohio. Placing third in the class is entry number 65, Darlene Moser, with Empire JD, somebody to love. Darlene Moser, Pleasant Lake, Indiana. Placing fourth in the class is entry number 69, Hartdale Colonel Salsa, exhibited by Kevin Hartman of Mulberry Grove, Illinois. Fifth in the class was entry 62, Campbell's Trouble Enchanted, exhibited by Valley Gem Farm of Cumberland, Wisconsin. Sixth in the class was entry 59, Hartdale Colonel Cider, exhibited by Melissa Hogg of Dane, Wisconsin. Placing seventh was entry 70, Uno's AP Uriah, exhibited by Lillianne Storm and Lucas Hayes of Broadhead, Kentucky. Eighth in the class was entry number 58, Rocky Hill Legends Say So, exhibited by Holly McCarty of Hughesville, Pennsylvania. Placing ninth was entry 66, Walnut Ridge Crown Royal Zippy, exhibited by Haley Jarvis, excuse me, by Caitlin Moser of Thurmont, Maryland. And 10th in the class was entry number 52, Colette's Linus Hasty, exhibited by Callie and Mary Beth Colette of Chucky, Tennessee. Now in the ring in our Guernsey show is our summer yearling class. Also, we'd like to have a not-so-subtle reminder to our Dairy Show exhibitors. There is no alcohol allowed in the makeup ring here at Freedom Hall. So if you've smuggled it in, you need to smuggle it out. No alcohol here in the makeup ring at Freedom Hall.
This time in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show ring, Judge Bagley has completed her placing in our Summer Yearling Heifer class. Placing second in the class is entry 180, Henselwood Rampage Wabash, exhibited by Alexis Sherry of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry 81, Buckmeadow Seaman Willow, exhibited by Colt and Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Congratulations. Tammy, your thoughts on our Summer Yearling class? Well, our numbers might be getting a touch smaller, but the quality sure has not faltered at all. And in this class of summer yearlings, this heifer sorts herself out to the top for me and has that distinct advantage over our July heifer in second because of her angularity and clean cutness. She's just so much more feminine about uh, that shoulder. She's sharper over that rib structure, more prominent about her hooks and pins than this July, like I said, July heifer coming out in second. Uh, second over third is a close placing for me, but as I said, I give this heifer in second acknowledgement. She has got so much more mass of width right through that uh, rib structure, more spring to that forerib, more depth of forerib, more drop to that rear flank than this beautiful dairy heifer coming out in third. Third over fourth does it on her advantage right from hips back wider through those pins, and she has those thurls underneath her more comfortably, and I just prefer how she has less set to her hock, and as she moves about the ring, it's just much more comfortable on this beautiful ribbed heifer coming out in fourth. Fourth uses that overall angularity and clean cutness all the way from the tip to the tail over another real long-bodied heifer. She's just more cleaner over those hooks and pins, carrying less flesh over that rib structure today than another real balanced heifer in fifth. Fifth over six uses that advantage of her openness of rib, her drop to that rear rib over this powerful upstanding front-ended heifer coming out in six. Congratulations again on another quality class. There were 10 summer yearlings exhibited this evening at the Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show. Our winner was entry number 81, Buckmeadow Seaman Willow, exhibited by Colton Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Second in the class was entry number 180, Henselwood Rampage Wabash, exhibited by Alexis Sherry of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. Placing third in the class is entry number 84, R5 Dynamite Miss Chief, exhibited by Tatum Copeland of Collinsville, Oklahoma. Fourth in the class is entry 86, North Kill Creek Get Groovy, exhibited by Hannah Balthaser, Vifrata, Pennsylvania. Fifth in the class is entry number 79, K-A-D-R Daredevil Vienna, exhibited by Cassidy Ashland Delaney and Riley Oliger of Hagerstown, Indiana. Placing sixth in the class is entry 87, Smith Lane's Famous Bevy, exhibited by Billy Smith of Berg Hill, Ohio. Seventh was entry 78, D-A-R Kylie, exhibited by Brayton Neerman of Brownstown, Indiana. Eighth in the class is entry number 85, Caffey Hill Kickstart Fame, exhibited by Lonnie Caffey and Delbert Teeters of Trafalgar, Indiana. Ninth was entry 77, Holy Air Fire Burning, exhibited by Noah Heine of Sullivan, Wisconsin. And placing 10th was entry number 73, Edgeview R. Dazzle, exhibited by Ryland Brayton and Camden Neerman of Brownstown, Indiana. Now in the ring. In our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show is our Spring Yearling class. Attention to Guernsey exhibitors, our judges working through a summer yearling class. We need those spring yearlings at ringside immediately. Guernsey exhibitors, your spring yearlings should be at ringside.
Got to quit talking. In our National Guernsey show ring, Judge Paulson has completed his placing in our summer yearling class. Placing second in the class is entry 73, Poppydale, Tampa Murphy, exhibited by Poppydale Dairy of Chateauguay, New York. And winning the class is entry number 82, Rocky Hill, Reputation Juliet, exhibited by Mara Ripley of Moravia, New York. Congratulations. Judge Paulson, your reasons on our class. What a nice group all the way down. Some apples and oranges, if you, uh, so to speak. You got some differences. But we got a heifer that climbs to the top. You can come this way, hon. Come this way. But we got a heifer here on uh, stopping the class here today. She just got a little more strength and width and power throughout that I prefer. Uh, just a little more strength through that chest, but yet she's still dairy. I love that width of rump, and she's walking on a really nice set of feet and legs. Too, but it, it is that strength and power to that front end that gets her over to Heifer here in second. Take nothing away from Heifer here in second. I love that dariness and angularity today. Just not the sweetie behind that Heifer in first. Just a little more width and power throughout. A little closer placing here, second over third. I just prefer just a little neater through that tail setting for me today. Just a little more uphill, uphill run through that front end. Gets her over to Heifer, real dairy Heifer here in third. Third over fourth here, just a, kind of a switch here at the end here. Just, just a little sharper at the shoulder, just a little uh, nicer to that uh, foot, especially down there in the foot angle, below the pastern there, just a lot. I just prefer her the way she tracks, a little nicer than a heifer here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just a lot cleaner, flatter bone. I love this heifer in fifth. She was up the line, but when you get her in line here and ad really analyze her, she's just a little too heavy for me to be up towards the top here, but a nice group of summer yearlings all the way down. Congratulations. There were 10 summer yearlings exhibited in our National Guernsey Show. Our winner was entry 82, Rocky Hill, Reputation Juliet, exhibited by Mara Ripley of Moravia, New York. Second in the class was entry number 73, Poppydale Tampa Murphy, exhibited by Poppydale Dairy of Chateauguay, New York. Third in the class was entry 77, Spring River James D. Mermaid, exhibited by Tyler Chupp of Enola, Oklahoma. Fourth was entry number 80, Spring Hill, Elmhurst, Jamaica, exhibited by Valerie and Jim Spring and Ackley Farms of East Liberty, Ohio. Fifth in the class was entry number 74, Spring Hill J.D. Jubilee, exhibited by Hunter and Tyler Smith of Nicholasville, Kentucky. Sixth in the class was entry 83, Warwick Manor JCP Crown Royal, exhibited by Carly Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. Seventh in the class was entry number 78, Alden's JC Penny Shimmer, exhibited by Robin Alden of Danville, Ohio. Eighth in the class was entry number 76, Circle B Latimer Thunderstruck, exhibited by Reagan Tompkins of Ennis, North Carolina. Ninth in the class was entry 81, Rocky Hill Copper Shea, exhibited by Larson Swan of Sherman, New York. And 10th in the class was entry number 104, Marador Lightning Hazel, exhibited by Marador Farm of Baltimore, Ohio. Now in the ring in our National Guernsey show is our Spring Yearling class.
Tension Brown Swiss exhibitors. Our show is progressing. Our judge is working through the spring yearlings. Your winter yearlings should be at ringside. In particular, we're looking for entry 107 from Junior Kronk. We need your winter yearling to the makeup ring. Over in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show, Judge Bigley has completed her placing in our Spring Yearling Heifer class. Placing second in the class is entry number 98, Birds All Way Famous Nell, exhibited by Carter Cruzy of Dyersville, Iowa. And winning the class is entry number 91, Lucky Charms Fooled You, exhibited by Heidi Heller, Darlington, Wisconsin. Congratulations. Judge Bigley, your reasons on this class. 
Well, again, another beautiful class of heifers all the way, five, six, seven, eight deep here. Uh, but the heifer that I'm starting out with is an April heifer, and she's, for me, the complete package and has it to manage today. When you get in front of her, she's got so much more femininity and clean cutness up through that head and neck. She's longer in that neck. She's just so much sharper right down through that brisket, the top of her shoulder, and right from hooks to pins over this beautiful balanced heifer coming out in second. In addition, that heifer being as clean as she is, she doesn't give up that width and that dairy strength that we want to see in these heifers. Second over third uses that advantage of just having more balance, more drop to that rear rib, more depth to her flank, and more width out through those pins over another beautiful dairy heifer coming out in third. I love this high style front end heifer that's in third. You love the high chine, the walk up hill run that she has. And she uses that extension from tip to tail, the length from uh, through that midsection to go over another real pretty heifer coming out in fourth. Fourth gives up some size and scale, but when you start analyzing her part for part, there's not a lot wrong with her. She is beautifully hard down that top line. She's wider out through those hip, hips and pins and our heifer coming out in fifth. Fifth over six just uses that advantage again, showing me more spring of fore and rear rib, more drop to that rear rib today. And I do prefer when she's out on the move, she's just got a little bit more uh, controlled uh, mobility. Where our heifer in six, I would just like to change her and her leg structure just a little bit to move her up. But again, another beautiful class of spring yearlings. Congratulations. There were 14 spring yearlings exhibited in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show. Our winning entry was number 91, Lucky Charms Fooled You, exhibited by Heidi Heller of Darlington, Wisconsin. Second in the class was entry number 98, Birds All Way Famous Nell, exhibited by Carter Cruzy of Dyersville, Iowa. Third in the class is entry 96, Edgeview F. Denver, exhibited by Tumbleweed Dairy of Lowell, Michigan. Fourth in the class was entry 104, Sue Adam Diego Shine, exhibited by Dylan Skiff of Greenwich, New York. Fifth in the class was entry 106, Hellinger Star Calzone, exhibited by Madeline Branch of Mount Airy, North Carolina. Sixth in the class was entry 93, Bittersweet Rasta Renee, exhibited by Rylan Brayden, Brayton and Camden Nearman of Brownstown, Indiana. Seventh in the class, was entry 101, Corlin Carter Starbright, exhibited by Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. Eighth was entry 103, Dublin Hills Tricks, exhibited by Jacob and Joseph Johns of Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Ninth in the class was entry 92, Rolling Meadow Dynamite Dakota, exhibited by Alyssa Hill of Ellenberg Center, New York. And tenth was entry 90, Cronk Salsa Cali, exhibited by Junior Cronk of Mishawaka, Indiana. Now in the ring in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show is our winter yearling class. Over in our National Guernsey Show Ring, 
Judge Paulson has completed his placing in the Spring Yearling class. Placing second in the class is entry number 86, Spring Hill Helios Jazzy, exhibited by Valerie and Jim Spring and Ackley Farms of East Liberty, Ohio. Winning the class is entry number 85, Lakeview Farm Love Penny Sue, exhibited by Leah Jenkins of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Judge Paulson, your thoughts on the class? Well, ladies and gentlemen, as you look at this class here, analyze them on the way down here, we got a lot of differences here. And the heifer that jumps to the top for us today, quite handily, is a heifer that's got the least amount of holes in her. She's balanced, really good rig presence, just prefer her feet and legs. For, she's probably the best feet and legged heifer in the class, and that's what I'm striving for today. I just prefer her head carriage, especially over her shoulders up to the crops, gets her over the big ribbed heifer here in second. Second over third for me, just a little more balanced throughout, walking on a little nicer set of feet and legs, gets her over the problem heifer here in third. You love this heifer in third, you love the spring of rib, you love the depth of rib, but when you get analyzed her in her line here, she just falls apart crops for me a little too much, and her hind legs could just be a little straighter for me to get up over the top two heifers. Third over fourth, it is that spring of depth of rib, uh, just a little more strict and power throughout gets her over to half her here and fourth. Fourth over fifth, just prefer her just a little more upstanding heel, just holding her loin just a little nicer than the, than the broken colored heifer coming out in fifth. But a really nice group all the way down. There were 10 spring yearlings exhibited in our National Guernsey Show. Our winning entry was number 85, Lakeview Farm Love Penny Sue, exhibited by Leah Jenkins of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Second in the class was entry 86, Spring Hill Helios Jazzy, exhibited by Valerie and Jim Spring and Ackley Farms of East Liberty, Ohio. Third in the class was entry 91, Glad Heart Drone Megan, exhibited by David May and Jason Hennessy of Mount Joy, Pennsylvania. Fourth in the class is entry 89. Brooms Bloom J.D. Bunny, exhibited by Belle Dallum of Bel Air, Maryland. Fifth in the class was entry 87. Meridor Ferdinand Velvet, exhibited by Meridor Farm of Baltimore, Ohio. Sixth in the class was entry 88. PR Top Line DR Big Mac, exhibited by Carolyn Allen of Regenis, Vermont. Seventh in the class was entry 94, Still Dreamin' Drone Trinity, exhibited by Braden Oliver of Stillwater, Oklahoma. Eighth in the class was entry 90, Naps Drone Talented, exhibited by Catherine Montestelka of o Okeechobee, Florida. Ninth in the class was entry 93, Lindy Mercer with Elmhurst Spring Hill Django Fett from Bryant, Indiana. And 10th in the class is entry number 95, Cooley Crest Java Lexine, exhibited by Anna Headings of Plain City, Ohio. Now in the ring, in our Guernsey show, is our winter yearling class.
in our southeastern National Brown Swiss show. Judge Vagley has completed her placing in our winter Ealing class. Placing second in the class is entry number 115, Hempstead's Victorious Vera, exhibited by Lillian Hempfling of Delphos, Ohio. And winning the class is entry number 116, Just So W. Tassel, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. Congratulations. Judge Vagley, your thoughts on our winter yearling class? Again, I've said this a couple times, but I'm going to say it again. The quality runs deep all the way from first to last in this class. And you really need to appreciate that in the caliber that you expect to come to a national show. And with that being said, the heifer that was leading out here in first, as another heifer for a yearling, you really have to admire her singularity and clean cutness throughout. And she uses that femininity, that refinement all the way through her head structure, her length of, through her neck, the sharpness at her shoulder, and just the femininity right down even through those front legs to go over this big powerhouse heifer coming out in second. In addition, when you get right behind them, she's just a lot cleaner right through that rump structure also than our heifer here in second. Second over third uses that advantage of that depth and openness of fore and rear rib, just so much more drop, particularly in that fore rib, to go over this long framed heifer coming out in third. Third over fourth, I made the pair switch. Just when you get behind them, I prefer the length from tip to tail and the right when you uh, view them, she's harder in the loin and she's just more pleasing about that rump having that tail head behind, set between a wider set of pins. Our fifth heifer, a January heifer going over our heifer here next, just a bit cleaner all the way throughout for me, being a little bit longer and more feminine up through the head and neck and just sharper all the way throughout. And as we go down the line again, just a tremendous group of heifers with, that have width and power. These last couple heifers just need more depth and openness to compete with those heifers at the top of the class. There were seven winterlings exhibited in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show. Our class winner was 116, Just So W. Tassel, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. Second in the class was entry number 115, Hempstead's Victorious Vera, exhibited by Lillian Hempfling of Delphos, Ohio. Third in the class was entry 112, Red Bray, Powerful Zoe, exhibited by Marlon Gaff and Blessing Farms of Wawaka, Indiana. Fourth in the class was entry number 107, Kronk, Daredevil Present, exhibited by Junior Kronk of Mishawaka, Indiana. Fifth in the class was entry number 113, Coraline Rising Star, exhibited by Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. Sixth in the class was entry 114, Miami Hills S. Dixie Lynn, exhibited by Laura Fry of Logansport, Indiana. And seventh in the class was entry 111, Caffey Hill Kickstart Fawn, exhibited by Lonnie Caffey and Delbert Teeters of Trafalgar, Indiana. Now in the ring in our Brown Swiss show is the Fall Yearling class. In our National Guernsey show ring, Judge Paulson has completed his placing in our winter yearling class. Placing second in the class is entry number four, Spring Hill Latimer Unite, exhibited by Lillianne Storm of Broadhead, Kentucky. And winning the class is entry number 101, Naps Drone Tatum, exhibited by Melinda Rushing of Perkins, Oklahoma. Congratulations. Judge Paulson, your thoughts on our winter yearling class? 
What a nice group of winter yearlings all the way down, but we got a handy winner here today. Uh, this heifer just has out styles and out balances the whole class here today. Just prefer her up through that crop region, just prefer her over the loin region. And it, it, take nothing away from the beautiful heifer here, due here in about a month. Just not quite the style to get over this heifer here in first. But take nothing away to heifer in second, over to heifer in third. Just a little more spring and depth of that heart and chest, a little more width throughout. Gets her over to really dairy heifer here coming in third. Third over fourth, a little closer placing for me today. Just prefer the foot and leg, uh, just a little straighter in her leg today. Gets you over to heifer here in fourth. Fourth over fifth, just a little cleaner, flatter bone heifer. Gets her over to heifer coming out in here in fifth. Nice group of heifers all the way down. There are seven half winter yearlings exhibited in our National Guernsey Show. Our class winner is entry 101, Naps Drone Tatum, exhibited by Melissa, Melinda Rushing of Perkins, Oklahoma. Second in the class is entry four, Spring Hill Latimer Unite, exhibited by Lillian Storm of Broadhead, Kentucky. Placing third in the class was entry 97, Marador Ferdinand Darcy, exhibited by Marador Farm of Baltimore, Ohio. Fourth in the class was entry 98, Rocky Hill Legit Reputation, exhibited by Michael Hurst of Waynesville, Ohio. Fifth in the class was entry 99, Still Dreamin' J.C. Penny Nastia, exhibited by Diesel Dixon of Conway, Missouri. Sixth in the class was entry 103, Dixie Lee L. French Chocolate, exhibited by Stephanie Headings of Plain City, Ohio. And seventh in the class was entry 96, Alden's Reputation Nancy, exhibited by Robin Alden of Danville, Ohio. And in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show Ring, Judge Vigley has completed her placings in our Fall Yearling class. Second in the class is entry number 122, Glamour Ridge V Wild Thing, exhibited by Brooke Foote of Dolgeville, New York. And winning the class is entry number 127, Nap DD Challenge, exhibited by Dalen Gehrig of Jerusalem, Ohio. Congratulations. Judge Vigley, your thoughts on our final individual class of the evening. Well, what a nice way to round out our heifer classes here with three beautiful heifers. And as I sort through them, the, the pair of heifers that come to the top do it for me as far as cleanliness and angularity throughout. Uh, they're just sharper and cleaner heifers. And my first place heifer, when she's particularly on the move, she's just harder across that time, especially through the chine and midsection. Uh, then this beautiful open rib dairy heifer coming out in second. Taking nothing away, I do grant my second place heifer has got more depth of fore rib and a bit more uh, drop to that rear rib today than my winning heifer. But she uses that overall angularity, clean cutness all the way throughout to go over this beautiful front ended October heifer coming out in third. Uh, this is October Heifer, you love that high style front end, but just as you compare to the other two in the class, just giving up a little bit on the conditioning uh, to move up into that first spot. But again, three tremendous heifers to wrap up our, our heifer classes here today. There were three fall yearlings exhibited at our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show. Winning the class was entry 127, NAP DD Challenge, exhibited by Dalen Gehrig of Jerusalem, Ohio. Second in the class was entry 122, Glamour Ridge V Wild Thing, exhibited by Brooke Foote of Dolgeville, New York. And third in the class is entry number 120, LIF Wanna Be a Rich Girl, exhibited by Jacob and Joseph Johns of Chapel Hill, Tennessee. Now entering the ring in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show is are those animals competing for junior champion female. They were all first or second in their heifer classes here today.
Christmas. And at this time, now that we've been through all of our individual heifer classes in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show, and Judge Tammy Vagley has placed 91 heifers here this evening, we certainly want to put the spotlight on and reintroduce you to those animals, cattle and handlers that were first or second in their heifer classes here in our Brown Swiss show. There were 19 spring calves. Our class winner was entry number 22, Brown Velvet Pea Ball Vermont, exhibited by Elena, Ava, and Audrey Lammers of Marysville, Ohio. Second in that class was entry number 19, North Kill Creek Grand Slam, exhibited by Hannah Balthaser of Ephrata, Pennsylvania. There were 23 winter calves exhibited. Our winner was entry number 47, Brothers Three, Dix Wiley, exhibited by Brothers Three and Andrea and Ryan Haynes of Teeny Town, Maryland. Second in the class was entry number 128, Perry Brook Elysium Lizzo, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. There were 15 fall calves. Our winner was entry 65, Blessing Doughboy Chrissy, exhibited by Blessing Farms of Owaka, Indiana. Second in the class was entry number 75, Top Acres F.M. Weiser, exhibited by Colton Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. There were 10 summer yearlings. Our class winner was entry 81, Buck Meadow Seaman Willow, exhibited by Colt and Luke Buckley of Lawrenceburg, Kentucky. Second in the class was entry number 180, Henselwood Rampage Wabash, exhibited by Alexis Sherry of Chambersburg, Pennsylvania. We had 14 spring yearlings. Our winner was entry 91, Lucky Charms Fooled You, exhibited by Heidi Heller of Darlington, Wisconsin. Second in the class was entry number 98, Birds All Way Famous Nell, exhibited by Carter Cruzy of Dyersville, Iowa. There were seven winter yearlings. Our winner was entry 116, Just So W. Tassel, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. And second in the class was entry number 115, Hempstead's Victorious Viria, exhibited by Lillian Hempfling of Delphos, Ohio. And we had three fall yearlings exhibited this evening. Our winner was number 127, Nap DD Challenge, exhibited by Dalen Gehrig of Jerusalem, Ohio. Second in that class was entry number 122, Glamour Ridge V Wild Thing, exhibited by Brooke Foote of Dolgeville, New York. Certainly been a tremendous heifer show here in our Brown Swiss breed. Congratulations to all of our exhibitors. Attention Brown Swiss exhibitors, following our selection of junior champion, we'll have our junior best three class. In order to wrap this up in a timely manner, if you are planning on bringing a junior best three group, please get them to ringside right away.
We turn your attention to our Southeastern National Brown Swiss ring. Our judge, Tammy Vagley, has selected out her final four here in contention for junior champion of our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show. Tammy, it's sure been a heck of a heifer show here this evening. I'm sure it's been a lot of fun out there for you to select through these classes. And when you're ready, we'd love to hear your thoughts on your final four and your selection of junior champion. Thanks, Kathleen, and you're right. This, it's hard for me to put the words, and I have a lot of friends uh, out here in the ring, but, and I consider that competitors and mentors and friends and the ones watching us and the ones back home that hopefully figured out how to watch the live stream because if it wasn't for them back home, I couldn't be here this week, and it's been just truly a privilege to judge this heifer show. Um, I love the big brown cow. And I am so proud of how this breed has come and evolved and developed and is such a competitor that we got the other breeds looking at us and they want our breed in their barn. So please give these breeders, these owners, and everybody involved in putting uh, these animals in the center of the ring a big round of applause. Now to get to why we're here, I pulled out my favorite four heifers and again, I know it's a coin phrase, but taking nothing away from these heifers on the rail, there is some pretty, pretty good heifers that I didn't pull out. But I'm always one that I don't like pulling out six or seven. Um, I like to pull the ones that are right, right there. We pulled out this first place December calf, a calf that's got balance, open as a rib, walks out on an exceptional set of feet and legs. The first play, prize fall calf, heifer with lots of style, that beautiful front end, hardness at top, and just when you get right behind her, another tremendous open ribbed heifer. Our spring yearling and April heifer, you get behind her, she is a power horse, but she still has that femininity and clean cutness all the way throughout. And then that winter yearling, a heifer that at this age, she's got that mass, that frame, but still has the incredible set of feet and legs and the angularity throughout to make a heck of a cow. I'm gonna go out and congratulate your junior champion, your reserve and honorable mention in that order. And when I do, please show your appreciation for the hard work that these people have put into this ring. And I'll come back to the mic and give you my reasons why. This fall calf for me is just never missed a beat. When she walks in the ring, she says, I'm gonna win, and that's exactly what she did. She's got that beautiful front end, and she uses her advantage and when you get her out on the move over the spring yearling. She's did the tick harder naturally through that loin at all times. But taking nothing away from this April heifer, she's got that tremendous openness of rib and that femininity all the way throughout, and she just uses that bit when she's out on the move, she tracks just so naturally with a little bit more width to her hocks than that beautiful winter yearling. And I'm taking nothing away from this winter calf. She's such an exceptional calf and I wanted her pulled out in the center. I think this calf has a bright future and I'm glad I don't have a winter calf to compete next year because this one I think is gonna be right up there. But again, congratulations to all the owners and exhibitors and breeders of this tremendous group of heifers. Congratulations to the junior champion of the 2023 Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show. She's our winning fall calf, entry 65, Blessing Doughboy Chrissy, exhibited by Blessing Farms of Wawaka, Indiana. Our reserve junior champion was our winning spring yearling, entry 91, Lucky Charms Fooled You, exhibited by Heidi Heller of Darlington, Wisconsin. 
And our honorable mention junior champion was our winning winter yearling entry 116, Just So W. Tassel, exhibited by Peter Vale of Englewood, Florida. Congratulations. Now if you turn our attention over to our national Guernsey show ring, Judge Paulson has completed his placing in our fall yearling heifer class. Placing second in the class is entry number 105, Snyder's Copper Gentry, exhibited by Blair Gable of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. And winning the class is entry number 108, Dix Lee Derek Duchess, exhibited by Katie Dix, excuse me, by Whitney Arena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. Congratulations. Judge Paulson, your comments on the class. What a nice group of fall yearlings here. Uh, uh, differently, definitely some differences throughout. And this heifer here, uh, quite a striking heifer for me today. It's a, it's a ring presence, just a little more spring in depth and openness to that rib gets her over the November heifer here in second. Heifer in second here, you really admire the straight hard topness to the heifer. Maybe you like to drop her uh, rear rib just a little bit to get over this heifer here in first. Second over third is just a style of balance and just I prefer the way she tracks on her hind legs just a lot nicer for me today than, than the big ribbed heifer here in third. Third over fourth uh, just to prefer her balance is just a little not nicer to her up through that crop region. A little more uh, dairiness for me today gets her over the problem heifer here in fourth. Heifer here in fourth there's a lot of nice things about her but when you get her in line just don't, don't, I just don't like the way she blends between her, uh, behind her crops and her hind legs. Could just be a little straighter for me to get her up over them heifers in front of her. On down the line, fourth over fifth, fourth over fifth, just a lot more heifer for, for me today. Gets her over to heifer here, come out behind her. Congratulations. There were six fall yearlings exhibited in our National Guernsey show. Our winning entry was number 108, Dix Lee Derek Duchess, exhibited by Whitney Arena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. Second in the class was entry number 105, Snyder's Copper Gentry, exhibited by Blair Gable of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. Third in the class was entry 107, Heritage Brook JD Trilogy, exhibited by Michael Hurst of Waynesville, Ohio. Fourth was entry 106, Twin Brook Kiss Me Kate, exhibited by Jocelyn McMurray of 84, Pennsylvania. Fifth in the class was entry 109, Alden's HH Reputation Unmistakable, exhibited by Sylvia Headings of Plain City, Ohio. And sixth in the class was entry 110, Still Dreamin' J.D. Victorious, exhibited by Diesel Dixon of Conway, Missouri. Now entering the ring in the National Guernsey Show is our, are the animals competing for junior champion. All of these heifers were first or second in their respective heifer classes here this evening. We'd like to reintroduce you to those heifers. There were 19 spring calves exhibited. Our winner was entry number 11, Golden Pines JD Butterfly, exhibited by Melissa Haig of Dane, Wisconsin. Second in the class was entry 19, Golden Pines JD Butterfinger, is also exhibited by Melissa Haig of Dane, Wisconsin. There were 20 winter calves. Our class winner was entry 40, LRF J.D. Taylor, exhibited by Garrett Lambert and Matt Hartle of Norridgewock, Maine. Second in the class was entry number 35, Warwick Manor Indigo Chimmy, exhibited by Carly Stoltzfus of East Earl, Pennsylvania. There were 16 fall calves. Our class winner was entry 61, Prairie Moon Java Lavender, exhibited by Garrett Lambert and Matt Hartle of Norridgewock, Maine. Second in the class is entry number 63, Cape May Drone Unstoppable, exhibited by Savannah Thomas of West Liberty, Ohio. There were 10 summer yearlings. Our winner was entries 82, Rocky Hill Reputation Juliet, exhibited by Mara Ripley of Moravia, New York. Second in the class is entry number 73, Poppydale Tampa Murphy, exhibited by Poppydale Dairy of Shadowgay, New York. There were 10 spring yearlings, and our class winner was entry 85, Lakeview Farm Love Penny Sue, exhibited by Leah Jenkins of Harrodsburg, Kentucky. Second in the class was entry number 86, Spring Hill Helios Jazzy, exhibited by Valerie and Jim Spring and Ackley Farms of East Liberty, Ohio. There were seven winter yearlings. 
Our winner was entry 101, Knapp's Drone Tatum, exhibited by Melinda Rushing of Perkins, Oklahoma. And second in the class was entry number four, Spring Hill Latimer Unite, exhibited by Lillian Storm of Broadhead, Kentucky. And we had six fall yearlings. Our class winner was entry 108, Dixley Derek Duchess, exhibited by Whitney Urena of Phillipsburg, Missouri. And second in the class was entry number 105, Snyder's Copper Gentry, exhibited by Blair Gable of New Enterprise, Pennsylvania. It's been a wonderful heifer show in our Guernsey breed. And congratulations to all of our Guernsey exhibitors. And over in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss Show Ring, we've got our final class of the evening, our Junior Best Three Females class. Placing second in the class is entry number 132 from Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. And winning the class, the Junior Best Three Females group from Blessing Farms of Owaka, Indiana. Congratulations. Tammy, your thoughts on our final class of the evening. What a nice group, uh, three groups of heifers to come back out for Junior Best Three. And our winning group, uh, just a tremendous uniform group, very dairy uh, all the way through, femininity and uh, very correct calves in this trio that's walking out in first. And they use that angularity throughout and that balance and style to go over our group in second, anchored by our, our larger heifer there. But they just have the advantage over our third group, just a little bit stronger out through that chine region all across the board of their group, and just a little bit more correctness in their feet and legs. But congratulations again to the breeders of these three groups. Congratulations. There were three groups. Placing first was the best three group from Blessing Farms of Owaka, Indiana. Second, a group from Caitlin Bell of Frederick, Maryland. And third, our best three group from Laura Fry of Logansport, Indiana. That concludes our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show for the evening. Please join us tomorrow, Sunday, at 5 o'clock for the conclusion of the show with our Brown Swiss cows. Once again, we'll do our cow, cl cow classes in our Southeastern National Brown Swiss show. That'll be tomorrow, Sunday, November 5th at 5 p.m.